Can I tell you why I chose you over other group? Yeah, I'd like to hear it. Tell me why. <laughs> okay. At no time in any of your video did you suggest to do something illegal. <laughs> and then the other time, you never said we would not teach you. You gave a protocol reason why certain things we may not be able to do. And if the climate changes, what you're saying now about the shipping, we may right. do things different. Right. I call multiple vendors. I'm not going to give the name so as to protect the identity. Yeah. But I had one guy say, well, you know, you just run it through your bank. And I said, but if, a, if my bank see me running these, they see all these transactions where I was once getting a deposit every two months. All of a sudden now I'm getting deposits every day. Don't you think that's going to make a real, oh, don't worry about it. By that time come, you will understand the business and you can always get another account. And I just checked those companies off. Yeah. And I really appreciate how you, in all your videos, before I even, purchase the class. I watched so many of your videos. I watched other people's videos. And that's the thing that stood the most out of it. And you kept saying, hey, look, I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. You can trust PDQ and what we're doing. We're not here trying to gouge you. And then you even mentioned, he said, look, when you get enough ATM, we'll discuss that additional fee that comes with the card. But let's see what you do first before we get into all that. And you said that in your video. Right. This one person told me, you'll never get that. And I was like, okay, you're not even going to discuss it? I said, no, we don't need to discuss it. I said, well, thank you. I do appreciate it. And then <laughs> Why don't we put a limit on what you can do? That doesn't make any right. sense. And then one of the persons said, well, what is your objective? I said, ma'am, I have originally wanted 20 to 50 houses to as investment property. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the ATM. And that's what excited me. Because as you said in your video, you get income of a rental, but yet without all the extra problems. And so for every, if I made $250, what you said, I had an investment problem. I made $400 to $250 every, off, off it every month. And so when I saw that, I said, oh my God, I had to put all this money up. I had to put all this up just to get this. And I dealt with people who did some of the craziest stuff. I know in ATM, you have to deal with the security and you're going to be in different places. But if I made 250, I can literally count out how many machines I need. Now you gave a low ball figure. So as people well, to understand. Because I don't want to smoke, because I don't want, because they, there's so You don't want to tell guys. people, like yeah. some of them say, hey, I'm making 4,000 a month, yeah. I'm making 600. And then every time people show me money, in the real world of business, that's not what you do. Right. You show a person a game plan. Yeah. You say, here's my track record. You walk them to go out here and look at it. And then you invited people to join your Facebook without being a member of the class. Right. So there you're, you're discussing everything in there, which is what they're going to see in the class. Right. But you're not making a hit. And that right. openness that you have maintained and has really sold me. And I also the meeting that you had with the three guys on the stage, that put more legitimacy on what you guys were doing because you talked about something I already heard a lot about in the news about the, uh, I just didn't know how to tap into it, about the regulation, things are going on that the Obama administration had implemented and that caused a lot of problems for other people, but they were trying to weed out the drug dealers and the laundering of money. So they had to do something. It's just that unfortunately the ATM got caught up in the midst of that. So that's the reason why I chose you guys oh, over you. the other group. And I know you didn't need my business. You're doing millions of dollars. <laughs> so we're like a drop in the bucket. But hopefully one day I'll make a point and do enough volume that you guys can say, hey, it's a good guy. So yeah, no, um, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And thank you for telling us that that was that was very nice. I just, you know, I seen I don't know. I'm not trying to cheat nobody. So I, I got too I work too hard for a reputation not to cheat people. So I'm not going to. So. Right. And a good name is more valuable than gold. Yeah. Because once you lose the name, there's no gold coming. <laughs> so that's the way I try to live my life as well. Is that I do real estate, I'm a real estate agent, mm -hmm. but I, I kept looking at it. I kept telling them, I spent what, five months with a client, a buyer, and they didn't buy anything. Yeah. And I'm going like, dude, I just wasted, I mean, I, because I make good money somewhere else, it doesn't make me put them on pressure. Like, hey, you got to sign. And I never want to do that because I don't like being sold some. But I said, man, honestly, I, I wasted five months. And I got nothing to show for it financially, but a bunch of expenses. Great for my taxes, but not for the immediate pocket. And then when I saw your ATM, I saw this, I said, dude. And I, had, I was out and I couldn't get to my bank because I had to drive all across town. I went and used another person's ATM. 
Yeah. And I said, oh my God, I'm doing it right now. Right. Somebody just collected three dollars off me just to do it. And then I had to go to our courthouse to start getting my LLC. I did it again. I forgot to bring cash. They wouldn't at our courthouse, they refused to accept debit cards. Right, just cash only. Cash yeah. only. And I don't write checks. I don't have checks. So so I said, I have got to I have got to do this and understand the right way. And I just like your your standpoint of the presenting everything where you do it the correct way. Oh, well, thank you. Grow, and you kept saying, grow slow and you won't have to start over. Just grow slow. Don't get, yeah, I know you're going to have a machine. Oh, this, you're going to be excited. Find a good location, learn the business and grow slow and watch it. In 90 days, if it's not looking right, be prepared to move it somewhere else, but find another location and just move it then. So right. that, that, that was the things that really, uh, Really sold me on your whole group. Really did. I know you don't need that, but I just- No, no, I want that. Good. Thank you. It's it's nice to hear because what we're trying to do is I want to know what we're doing right and do more of that. And what we're doing wrong, we stop that. <laughs> so I, I want to know what we're doing. So, but thank you very much. And we try real hard to do that. You know, like I said, I've been in the business for a long time. So we're other people in my lane that are are trying to, trying to do the same thing. They don't have necessarily the experience and and they're still not on the, I mean, maybe they're not on the street. I'm on the street too. So I talk to the business owners. I'm, I'm seeing what's going on. I listen a lot in the chat. So what the people are asking, what they're having struggles with, and we try to address those issues, you know, so make the, it viable to what's the climate right now. So right, right, thank you. Right. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I, I know that you mentioned about purchasing the locks and stuff. Is that a long lead time? Uh, shall I go ahead and just buy the, the, the new, I guess the, because the locks that come with the machine will be generic. So uh, the locks that come with, I go back and forth with this from economics. So okay. the challenge is this, the lock companies, they don't, they only want to sell locks in, and basically the minimum 12, 12 a piece, but you only, but you only have one ATM that's going to have two locks on it. So economically, okay. it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to, to, to do that. That's so what I would, what I was telling people is let's get up to five ATMs, then order 12 locks, then rekey all your ATMs. So now you'd just be one, it'd be one key. It's the same thing. The locks that they come on are, gen, are generic locks. They're the same, whatever manufacturer they have their own, let's call it a, a house key, so to speak. Okay. Okay. And there's two locks on there. So if I'm thinking, it, it depends on how you're, how you're thinking. If you're thinking, what I've been suggesting is when you get to five, let's order you 12 locks and do your whole, th whole your, do your whole route. That's what I would say. Okay. Cause I can't get, I can get a lock, but it's like 30 bucks. And that doesn't make there, they should be like $12 locks and right. they want to charge 30 for, for, you know, one lock. it's just too much money and it drives me crazy. So, you know, I would rather you, wait until you get a, you know at least a few atms before you do that because you're gonna have okay. to buy a minimum of 12. okay 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 all right all right yeah. okay now we're down to the the atm you're a fan of the high 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 no song high song high your song not less your song not not us here it's not like this. it's not less how your song that's how you pronounce it but i can't do it <laughs> But that's how they do it. Yeah, I can't. It's no, no, ha, it's, ha, it's ha. Ha, that's how it's ha. But I don't. Ha, no, no, some. Ha, right, but no, they no, just pronounce it. Okay. I, but but for the for the <laughs> for the American guys, they just pronounce it hiyo uh, sun. But okay. that's not in Korean. That's not how you pronounce it. Okay. But, ha, no, so no, I no. screw it up. But that's what the Americans do. Okay, know? okay. And then there's Gen Mag. Uh, and then it's Gen Mega. So Gen Mega. Okay. So the, the history lesson is this is Nala Shiosung produced Mini Bank 1500 like from 90, 98, 99, probably 99 to about 2007. And Tranex stamped their logo on it. And it was basically two families came together as one. All right. So then there was a riff in the families, Korean families. And Nala Shosung said, okay, we're going to take your name off. You go do your own thing. And so what they did is they, the Tranix went out and started their own company 
and produce ATMs. Not as good as the Nara Shosung, but not so not too bad. Then they changed their name again and they went to Hantel. Then they changed it and went to Gen Mega. So now Gen Mega makes a pretty good machine, but it's the same. It's they're very similar if you either do either or mm -hmm. how they program, how everything. One's not better than the other, but I'm a fan of not a show song because that's what I started with. But we we do we do both. But if if you were gonna ask me which one would you do, I would tell you the not a show song because the screen is bigger than the Gen Mega 2500. Okay. So, okay. Now, what I saw was a video of people running this scam where they were stealing money out of people ATM, basically just cashing them out, and a lot of videos were showing that pulling no song as the video, the machine that they were, of the choice that they were attacking. Were you there aware of that? One, yes, I was. And I know the guy who did it. And, he, and so, I mean, I don't know the guy, the perpetrator, I know right. the company that it happened to. So mm -hmm. it has happened twice. And uh, I know once for sure, allegedly twice it happened. They call that jackpotting. Yes. Um, they have a, you bind, what wasn't done is they didn't bind the motherboard to the to the dispenser. And so they had this, not a show song had that software on there, but they didn't turn it on. So in other words, people didn't, that my, my friend's company who it happened to didn't turn it on. So what they did is now they turned it on and it should stop that from ever happening. Oh, okay. 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 So the software is already there. They just didn't turn the software on. Oh, okay. okay. So it was, it was more like what they, okay. Okay, okay. Now, on that programming side, I know you said you guys going to program it for me. And yep. I was really, because I'm a programmer by trade, mm -hmm. I was really hoping I would get involved with that. I guess that's a different programming. You're trying to say that you're going to do the back end of the firmware where you're establishing a, a certain thing. But as far as like me putting in the customer information, would I still do that? Or no, so we would put in, so what I, what our experience has taught okay. us over the years is that it's very cumbersome for you to do it, even though you have this skill set that you do. I still have to talk you through a lot of what happens. Now, what the challenge has been is people have went in there and they've changed things. And now we spent hours on the phone figuring out what did they change? So what happens is it it's not customer satisfaction or it's not a customer service. It, because we have to spend a lot of time figuring out, well, what did you touch? And then how do we get it back? And then, so we just eliminated that. And what we do is we program it here. We put the keys in it. We program the location. We program the surcharge. Everything's programmed. And we will do that up until probably like the fourth or fifth machine. After that time, you will be familiar with the ATM. You will be familiar with how to, how to move and, and ebb and flow through the programming. And okay. at that time, we will say, hey, you know what? Let's drop ship the next one into your facility. And then we'll talk, we'll give you the, the programming. I, it's in the course of how to do this. And right. then we'll talk you through it and we're available for support. We can go through the whole procedure step-by-step step with you. We could be on the phone. You can try to do it yourself, whatever. And we'll do that because at that point you will develop the skill set that I'm not afraid of I've been in the ATM, I've loaded it a million times, I've done this, I've done that, I had to change this or whatever, and you're familiar with it, and you're not afraid of it, and you won't make catastrophic mistakes because you will you will be familiar with it. So that's okay. what we've learned. We, we have done what you're talking about, and it's every time it's been a nightmare. So I don't, okay. I don't, it's not something that, we, can we do it? Could you do it? Yeah, I'm sure you could get through it, but if you screw something up, I can't, it takes a long time to figure out what that is. And then, okay. so what we have to do is to do it, we'll spend half an hour on the phone to try to figure out, well, what did you do? And at that case, then what we have to do is we put it, and they have an SD card, we have to blow it out to the original settings. And then that's even, that's even a tougher thing to do. And then you have to program the OS system and that's a nightmare the operating system. Obviously you're an engineer, you know that, but right. yeah. So that's okay. why we try to avoid all those okay, then. pitfalls. Now, and like I said, if I put a machine in place and it didn't turn out well and I not to move it. And you'll have to do it. You'll have to do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We hope uh, it.
jump in it just immediately, but I, I could go along with that. That's no problem. Yeah. Now, with that so being said, if I just back it up one set. So if you put in, let's say, I'm going to just throw some names out there. So let's say you put it at Sands Bar and Grill and you mm -hmm. have it in there for 90 days. Based on, and you say, you know what, Phil, it's not working out. I want to pull it out. I want to put it over. I got another opportunity at Joe's Snack Shop. I'm like, okay, great. So we pull it out. What we do is we'll get that, we'll send that information sheet out to you again. You'll, you'll fill that out you send it to us we'll send you mac encryption keys and then at that stage all you'll have to do is really reprogram the keys you'll have to change the tid that's the terminal id number you'll have to change the master keys okay, okay? and you'll have to change the address in there okay, okay? so it's not in, in that and that there's a few now it's kind of like it's instead of going from zero to 100 you might get started at 50 and you only have to go to 100 because you have majority of the stuff already done. Done. Okay. okay? All right. So it becomes, okay. it, it's, it could be challenging, but I don't think it would be for you. Right. Now, the, do you recommend purchasing a, another cassette for no. us loading the machine or just, no. uh, okay. I, I, could it be done? Yes. Could you do it? Yes. I don't do it. It's $400. And okay. It's, I mean, I was looking at that. Yeah. But then I, I didn't know if I need to Here's be more where, safer about doing it. Because I, I can't guarantee I'm going to have another person with me when I do it. Yeah. I was just looking at the speed of trying to get in. And, well, it's faster. Honestly, it's fa here's where I, here's my breaking. Here's my breaking point. Okay. I recommend the cassette when you have to do over eight thousand dollars. So because eight thousand dollars is about this much money. So, right. and, and you might be able to do 10, okay? Depending on how big your hands are. I don't have, my hands aren't that big, but <laughs> you know, you could do- I want my wallet that big. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so you could do, so I'll, I'll take $8,000 and I'll, we double rubber band it. So I'll rubber band one side of the money, one side of the money. And I have it in either a backpack or my pouch or a jacket or inside here. So what I'll do is I'll walk into location, open up the ATM, I can open up, open up the safe, open up the cassette, take this money out, put put that in, the, in this pocket, take it out of here, double up rent, put it in, shut it, put the thing, boom, boom. I can do it in like less than five seconds. The problem that you have if you have a cassette is now you have to have a, a backpack. You have to put the backpack down, you gotta take out the cassette, then you gotta take this one out, and then you gotta yes. put this one in, and then put this one back. And I know that sounds easy, but it's I can do it faster without the cassette than I can with the cassette. And then I got a backpack and it, I'm not, it, it's not that it does bring attention. It's just a little bit more cumbersome and I can no, do it, it fast. It, that brings attention. Cause yeah, I was right. thinking about it. Cause when you walk into a store, everybody's looking at that. Yeah. Here's a person walking in the store with a backpack. I'm thinking he about to steal. So now something about to go down. Okay. Right. I, I can go with that way. I okay. mean, I, but if you get to that spot, because we had, I mean, I, you know, I, I've been in new, a bunch of, you know, questionable neighborhoods with that in the backpack and I do that, but I, you know, it can be done and it's, and it can be done easy, but preferably for me, I like, I don't like, I mean, this is, it's all preference. I don't like the maneuver with the cassette and people always ask me that. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to spend your money. Now, do I do what you're talking about? Yes, we do, but it's over because of it's eight or 10 or 12 or 14 or 16 grand. So when it's in those situations, it's, it's, it's like that. Okay. 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 So if we get the, there, then we, then we order you one. And if I can find a used one in that. So the other thing I'll try to get you a used one, it'll be cheaper, but a new one's $400. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Well, I was going, if I did do it, I was going to go with you because everything yeah, we, you guys have said, eliminate problems yeah and i got several friends who own real estate and when they've told me renovate everything to new and you eliminate calls for the next 10 years because yeah. you know you know simply put that everything's right i gotta know you're about to get i want to waste your time but keep going uh, you talked about the um, friend, I'm good. okay Bye. you talked about the doing events here in birmingham we're about to do the world games okay starts on july 7th through the 17th and that's one reason why I was trying to push you to get everything done as quickly as possible. They got a few extra hoops you have to jump through. You got to have your own web page. 
to discuss your company and then of course be in business they are going to have cash vendors but i don't know if it's a locked in type deal but you mentioned getting started and also just want to make sure i mention this because i saw it in your video you guys invented some type of hook to help you unload to help you take the the machine vehicle but since you're going to have it shipped right at the store, I guess I wouldn't really have to have that. That was a tool that you guys used to lift ATM out. Mm -hmm. I guess that was a piece of wood where you drilled a hook in. So you went to, yeah, go to the hardware store. Okay. And go get, there's like the hooks. I don't know how to describe it, but there's a hook like in mm -hmm. the in the hardware section. There's like the hook and it's got the, the tread on the one side. Okay. And just make sure it's, it's like this least probably if you could spread your your thumb and your, your, your right. finger that far so you want something about that long and then okay. get a little piece of wood and then drill take that joker and drill through and put a nut on this side and a nut on that side and then you got that and i did it on both sides so you can take the atm and pull it out of your truck okay. okay you can also so amazon if you want i mean that's now that's country, but if you want to go high tech, you know, that's a, you know, that's country, but I just showed you, but Amazon's got this thing like this. Okay. Uh -huh. And I don't know what this is probably 40 bucks or whatever like that. And you can put it on, it's got these, these snazzy things like this and suction cup. You can put this on the ATM, hit the suction cup. And then now you got this to pull it out of your truck. Okay. Okay. Or this is, right. this is 40 bucks. They are built, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit country. So. Yeah, you I'm a little country. About, a, about this is Alabama. Yeah, right. So uh, we will be doing the little hook thing. So yeah. I, I'll uh, I'll do that. But since the first one gets shipped to the store, so okay. That's what I was going to ask you. I know I'm new, so would you advise me to look pursue that as an opportunity, or think that I should stay more with the permanent set just to get used to it before trying to jump into the event side of ATM placement? So so. Wait, well, so I mean, do you say think it again. I should, say it again. do you think i should like should i just right now instead of trying to do the event the world game it's it's going to be from 7 to the 17 yeah or do you think that'd be too much for me to try to handle being a new person whereas pursuing a permanent location kind of going slow with it do you think that would be a better route so to I, I okay i would i would go with the the permanent placement ATM first, but I would go to the event this year and I would mm -hmm. see how many, how many, you know, talk to, okay, here's what I would do. Go to the event and find out who's the event coordinator of the event. Okay. And then I would see if there is ATMs there. Oh. And then I would see how many ATMs there are. And I would check out, do, do, what are they charging? Okay. Okay. And then I would ask the event coordinator, hey, how did you choose this company? Is there a way, if they don't have anybody, then say, hey, I'm in the ATM business. Is there something we could do next year Okay. You know, for this event? Okay, so, and then check with them. Yeah, um, they there, have a here's, here's the challenge that you would run into that I don't want you to do is one of our, one of this, so one of our students, he, he got a mobile event maybe in May. And okay. so, he allotted 9,000 for the event. Okay, it was a three day event. On Friday, he put the event started at four o'clock. By 10 o'clock, he ran out of money. He calls us, what do I do? I go, I don't know what to I mean, he's like, I thought that the event would do 9,000 for the whole weekend and did 9,000 in four hours. And the events all day Saturday, all day Sunday, the guy's calling me. Because okay. the event goes for two more hours. And I said, well, there's, it, can you get any more money anywhere? He goes, I, everywhere I have the ATMs are closed. I can't rob the ATMs and the bank is closed. What do I do? I go, okay. you got to go apologize and you won't get the event next year. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah. Okay. And so your bank, if you're lucky, your bank will make Saturday deposits or take them. So if most of the, sometimes banks, some of your, like I got a bank that they just, they started, they switched hands and they do but before they they wouldn't so there's a chance you'll get a saturday deposit and i i asked him i said are you getting you get saturday deposit he says no so he's he's, he's dead in the water he's dead in the water so i wouldn't want that to happen to you okay okay and we don't know i mean you're talking about a 10 you said 10 day event right 
Yeah, it'll be 10 days from right. the well, actually 11 days, seven through and how many 17. people go to that event? Oh, this is a world game. So this is this is everybody from all over the world will be here uh for this event. They got soccer, archery, softball. Is that just is it every year or just one time and no, this is a one time oh. uh, no no well, I'm sorry. They have the event all over the world. Right. Like Alabama's hosting it this year. Oh I'm sorry. And so so <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's going to be here. In fact, people are putting their homes up in my neighborhood. For they're, Airbnb they're, stuff? They're yeah. doing their homes Airbnb. Wow. And people are pushing about five to about five grand for you to stay the 10 days. And if you got somewhere else to stay for 10, 10 11 days, then you yeah. sit. With the COVID, I'm like, I don't know if I want to have some pure strangers up in my home. So, but okay, that makes sense. Because then I was trying to figure out how I would get that cash and borrow money from a 401k to fill it to, to see try to carry it but since the money be returned i guess just pay my back 401k yeah back. You, that would that's no problem no, the money part would be no problem i did to do something like that yeah okay so you have to coordinate with the bank i mean to to make it how what's when do you have any idea how many people or something like that they're expecting over a over a hundred thousand people okay so a hundred thousand Every five thousand, you're gonna go through ten thousand. So what are we talking about? So that's so every five thousand, so a hundred thousand is twenty. So twenty times ten. So you're looking at probably two hundred thousand dollars in cash over that period. That would and and I would have to have was me. I'd probably think I'm gonna need four ATMs in that event. I'm gonna need two hundred thousand to go through. I'm gonna need another. 50,000 just 50, for a safety. 50, you know, 50 to, the problem is, is 4,000. You're going to need 50,000. You're going to need 100,000 because you're going to have to, if you, oh, you're going to need, you're going to need an extra 12,000, 10,000 in each ATM for, to get through the, the day. So you got to have enough money, not only to put the transactions, but get through to the end of the night and have reserves in case they, the problem when you have multiple ATMs is they might favor this one versus this one and you don't know when you do the event so you might have four atms and let's say you put fifteen thousand each one and these mm -hmm. two they run through the money and these two they don't so you're you're like well shoot you know so you just i mean then it's hard to tell so you have to have enough of money so in case that happens you're mm -hmm. there and then you would be at the event to to at night just in case that if that would right. happen Okay. okay, but I would say you need an extra hundred thousand on the side. Now you're not. It's not that you need three hundred thousand dollars, but you you would have to go to. My guess is they'll probably go through, ten, ten to fifteen thousand per ATM per day. So let's say sixty thousand. So it'd be sixty thousand. The next day you get back sixty thousand. So you would have to do some of that. But then the weekend comes. You got no money. You got to have that extra already um, on me already already scheduled for the bank already in possession just in case so there's all those factors to do can it be done yeah but i mean right it's a big i, I see what, i see what you're saying it's the because you have to have the cash already on you to get it handled just in case the bank say hey look we i guess you because you can't just go in the bank and just get the money well right because i have to forecast so Right. So let's say you're stuck. You would have to cash. Let's say you had your 401k. So let's say you 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 cashed out the 401k hypothetically, okay? And and you then you wire the money from your 401k to the bank. Then you'd have to make sure that the bank has the money in cash, the 20s, so you can put it into the ATM. Because just because the money's in your account don't mean anything to them. Then you got to have the 20s in there to take the money out. And then and you need. Maybe you could do it with three, three ATMs. I'd probably go three ATMs and you need kiosks. It's outside, right? Yes. The, some of the events are inside, a lot of them on the outside. Yeah, it, it's it's spread all over the city. So okay. it's depending on where you get an event. Cause it's not, it's sort of like going to the Olympic. Imagine like it's the Olympics. Okay. And the games are everywhere. Everywhere. So it's right. not like in a fairgrounds or a state fairgrounds or nothing like that. Right. And that's okay. where my problem I was looking at. I said, you kind of got to know exactly. You got people spread it everywhere. Yeah. And there's not a guarantee that it's going to, how the traffic going to flow. The projections yeah. 
for 100,000 people to be here just for the games. But then again, Alabama have that every Saturday <laughs> for a football game. So the World Game is supposed to be even bigger than a regular Alabama football game. And that's where, uh, see, and that is one site I would love to be able to get some events at the University of Alabama. But to do their event, they have a high uh, sponsorship kind of requirement. In other words, you do the event, but they want to take a, because you at the University of Alabama, they want to take a good penny of the proceeds. And I remember you talked about how you get with some of these corporate guys, they get a little greedy. They yeah. want to put you around and say, well, you're doing business with us. We want this because we're the business. And I don't want to be working for everybody. And that's another reason why I'm doing this business. I want to really get something for myself and create this passive income. So I think you you, you kind of calm my nerve down because I was getting a little antsy. And I think you, and I'm a numbers person, so I was freaking out how I would have to come up with that kind of cash to, to run daily. Because I, you know, yeah, just I, figure, I mean, on that event, I see that's the challenge is it's, I've never done like that. It's too spread out. I've always, it's, it's, it's concentrated. It's concentrated in one area. We get that kind of people and it's, and it's, and it's, you know, it's in one area. There's, and there's no really other choices because they all come in. I'm the only game in town, you know, I'm the only ATM on the thing. I don't compete with anybody. We put our prices up, you know, at, at, at 495 or 595. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and it's, they're locked in audience, you know? So, and I control the whole, I control the whole thing. But if it was, let's say if it was what I was talking about, you know, I would say probably 50 to a hundred thousand a day, I'm going to get back at least 50. And then I would go to the bank on a daily basis and get that money back. But the weekend, I got to make that weekend. And that weekend is okay. going to be tough. And now that is how I would have to, when I come to ordering money from the bank, I would have to tell them, this is what I'm projecting to do that next week per day. Yeah, it, you would. It, you, uh, right. I would have to tell them that, right? Right. You tell them, hey, I need, let's say they ordered the money on Friday, like you said, or Thursday. So you say, look, next week I'm going to need, I need you to order three hundred fifty thousand dollars for me, above what you normally do. Okay. Okay. So. And they need to be in twenties. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we did like, it was about fifty percent of what I was told it would be, but we had an event like Comic Con here in Chicago, and the guy said, "Hey, we got this event," and and it was a a, a lady that I knew, and she's like, "Hey, I, can you partner with me?" And I said, "Sure, I'll I'll do it." And then she said. She gave me the plans and what they did and all this stuff. And I said, that was in 2017. This is 2021. It was last, you know, Okay. they said they want 18 ATMs. They said they go through a half a million cash. I'm like, I did the numbers. I'm like, it's, it's, it's maybe in 2017, but this is, I'm telling you, it's not going to do that. So we went, you know, she was negotiating. So we got it down from 18 ATMs. I wanted to do six. She said, right. the end planner said, we got to do nine. Okay, we did the nine, and then two days before the event, she backed out. She's like, I can't do it. I'm like, okay. So I had, you know, I, put, oh, I, budgeted, no. I budgeted like 400,000 in cash to have there, had the banks all lined up, everything to do this. We set the ATMs and they, they went through like 100,000 in cash. And I had, right, so I was like, you know, and and you guys had to spread it over nine ATMs. I had no idea what we're gonna do. So we had basically like fifteen thousand. I don't know what is that. Fifteen thousand times nine. So I got one hundred thirty-five thousand in cash flow. I figured one hundred thirty-five each day. You know, that's and I had some fluff money because I don't know what's gonna happen. And it they didn't. You know, like I said, it went through a hundred thousand. So you know, the bank's like. Wow. How come you're not ordering money for the next two weeks? I'm like, I don't, I don't, I got it. I don't, I don't. You, you already got it right over. I already got it. I got the money. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't need the money, you know? So, okay. but that's, that stuff happens, you know? So I, I, I got some out of that. You, you, what you're saying is the understanding that what people say and what actually happened until you've done it, you really don't know the feel of it. Right. And then stay in focus where I pick events where it's more centrally located and yeah. things are focused in other words don't let my eyes get so big and oh i see this opportunity 
but I'm not really looking at where the, the pit holes are. And that is, I got people all over the city. I don't really know where they're all going to be. I mean, they got like a map, but I don't really have a concentrated flow. And just because it's here, you know, I'm thinking about not everybody go to softball game. Right. And not everybody going to go to the archer and that. And now right. I got a machine and I'm, I got money tied up that I may not get for X amount of transaction. And you mentioned about how you can change or you can add some to the surcharge. Like if they use, you get like a float if they do a credit card instead of using yeah, So we can add card. a dollar on a credit card transaction, we can add a dollar. So let's say your okay. transaction is $3. If they take right. money out in a credit card, we can make it $4. Just okay. on a credit card. So debits three, credit cards four. Now you, what I, I need to make sure I just tell you that during the, when you're doing your setup, how to have that in the machine to take care of that. Yeah, or that's just, something just, I have to go uh, just tell me that you want to do that and we'll add it. So it, and that'll be it. It'll automatically show on the screen. This transaction is, let's say $4 because it's a credit card. This transaction is $3 because it's a debit card. Okay? okay. And when you write your deal for the location, Let's say you're giving them 50 cents a transaction. Doesn't matter if it's credit or debit, you're still giving them 50. It's, However, yeah. you're making the extra money. Right, 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 right. Okay. okay. All right. I, okay. I, I just want to make. But one caveat I don't recommend you do that. Oh, if you have a transient place, tattoo shop, no problem. A hotel, no problem. But if you have a mom and pop bar, I wouldn't do it because they're, it's just okay. customers. Okay. Right? Okay. So there's different formulas we use to maximize the revenue in different areas that we can do because of the specific venue. And so I'll give you those, you you know, whatever. If it, I give you an example, like a tattoo place, I would put a maximum $400 withdrawal, which I wouldn't tell you to do that on a, on a convenience store, but I'll put $4 and I would put $3 or 2%, whichever is greater because the tattoo stops, they're gonna come in, they're gonna get, they're going to get a tattoo, you know, maybe they get a $200. They're going to come in and they want to get a $400 tattoo. So they come in, they do 200, maybe they pay half, maybe they take it all out. And then, but they're not going to, it's the, the people aren't going to come back on a weekly basis. Maybe they come back twice a year. If that, you know, Okay. they're not going right. to, unless they do a lot of ink, but for the most part, most people, they don't. So, right. Okay. And so, so that's why you do it. Now, make sure you get this right. You're saying like, let's say the surcharge normally would be three dollars, but in this case, it's a tattoo. You said you were at three dollars plus two percent, or 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 or, or, or the whichever. Oh, I see. So whichever is higher. Yes. The three Either or, or whichever is higher. So on the screen, let's say they take out hypothetically in a normal situation, they take out two hundred dollars. You charge them three dollars, right? right? In this case we put in 2%. So they can take out $200 now and it's 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 $4. And they take out 300 it's $6. You take out 400 it's 8,000. Okay? okay? You're only going to pay the the store owner whatever you would negotiate let's say 50 cents regardless if they take out 20 or 400. The store owner don't care because all they want to do is get that tattoo. That's what right. they care about. Okay? And then and then lower their their credit card uses right well they, they usually don't sales. most tattoo places that we deal with they don't do credit cards but because they got to pay the, the fee but it's usually cash only but okay but they what what it, my experience has been is i used to put the atm in at two to two hundred dollars maximum and then the tattoo guys would say hey can you raise the surcharge well i don't want to raise the surcharge i want them to take it out twice and then so we go back and forth with this fighting forget fighting i give them what they want they want four hundred hours. They give them four hundred hours. The customer's got to pay more, and the tattoo guy don't care. Okay. And who makes more it. money? You make more money. Right. Everybody wins. Okay. Okay. But I don't do that on certain locations. Convenience store with a with an Indian guy or Albanian guy mm -hmm. that does not play. He wants cheap, and he doesn't <laughs> want to hear that. So <laughs> okay. we don't do that there. Right. They want to okay. take out more money, then they they go back. That's right. why we go there. A Latino grocery store who's who's shipping money across border, they out, they only can do it in cash. So I might raise it to three hundred dollars. So now they can take out three hundred instead of they'll, they'll come back a couple times. They'll take out three hundred and they'll take out two hundred dollars. I'll get them for two and I'll make more money because we made. They, sometimes they only do three, but sometimes they'll come back again. 
and then he's okay. happy and they're they're not gonna complain right 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 okay then all right all right okay that, that makes sense man this has been a very helpful meeting you've asked a lot of questions so now just so i i would need to call your office or or when i get ready to, when i'm getting my paperwork signed i'll just make sure i got that right when i get my paperwork signed for the location agreement i call your office and then you guys give me a link to upload everything to you or or how would i get you the documents that you need about so when everything? you get so what you'll do is it should be in the portal but you want to make sure they have an ACH agreement, okay? And a W-9, right. okay? And I need their email, okay? So right. you should present them with your agreement, a W-9 a W and an ACH agreement that we can put money into their account. Okay? Right, right. So and now I got these papers signed. Now, yes. Now, now you're all, and you ask them for a voided check too, or a and letter a from check. the bank. Right. Okay. So now you you go in, you get their the paperwork signed, then you come mm -hmm. back to me and say, hey, I got, I got John's convenience store and we'll send you the link that you fill okay. out the information. And then there'll be oh. a part in that link that we will upload a voided check from your customer, W9, from your customer, an ACH agreement from your customer, and then your okay. stuff too. Okay. All right. All right. And then once I do it the first time, you won't need the, my stuff again on the next ATM machine only right. i need to send you the w9 all that stuff of the of the merchant right right so we have new new customer which would be you or we have existing customer with new location so we have okay. new customer and new location or we have okay. existing customer with new location so then you okay, just then. give us that information we'll put that into what we call a zoho sign and it will send it to you you sign off and verify that everything is right then we put it in we'll issue mac encryption keys you won't get those we'll facilitate right, right. that and get the atm already program it but if you get to when you get to your fifth you know five and above and if you said no nah, I'm, I'm on the way i'm good the way it is phil then we just continue the process you say i'd like to do it myself then we'll issue you the mac encryption keys you give okay. us the information we'll issue the keys same day and you can and you know usually how it will work in that s situation is you'll say, Phil, order me an ATM. I don't have a location, but I just want to have one on stock. So we'll issue you an ATM. You'll find a location. You'll give us the information. We'll we'll give you the form. You fill it out. You give it back to us. We'll issue you keys, and then you program the ATM, and and you know we'll send you a wireless device. That's okay. usually how it'll go when you get okay. There. No, right? I, I, I like this. I really it's a good way to grow, and you you help a person stay within their means. Yeah. meaning that you you're helping them understand the real business of what you're doing and you're protecting your industry mm -hmm. and if they do it right and you can see they if they grow and they can make money and yeah. they can see if they really want to pursue it further so I, I really like this so i will be on the road tomorrow talking to as many people as possible about uh getting the ATM in their area. Okay. Now I know my, I got to get my cards, and I know you said leave something, so I'm pretty. I printed the brochures, I remarked them up, so it'll be ATM for you cash. Yep. Uh, so I've changed a lot of that stuff around, and so uh, I've got that. So I'll be leaving that as my card for now till I get some cards in. I don't want to wait another day without talking to people. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I got to get out there. I, I just, I'm sorry, it's just me. I, so I'm trying to calm myself well, and that, and really understand have, how you do it. And you're a real, you say you're a realtor. So what I, one of the things you got to go with your sweet spot and your sweet spot is a realtor. So what that would be is I would, I would talk to the, some of the commercial guys that are, if you're a commercial guy, great. Mm -hmm. If you're not a commercial guy, I would make right. friends with the commercial realtors. And then because what will happen is they'll rent in spots and they'll hear about, Hey, a convenience store or a gas station, something. It's opening up now. They're they're closed or they're opening up again. And and keep your eye out for that because that happens all the time where their businesses are changing hands. They close down. They open up again. And now you're like, uh oh, I see they're working over there. Somebody's got to make that real estate. You know, somebody's got to be talking most of the right. time. Not all the time, but I mean, if a piece is vacant and it's commercial real estate, somebody's got to talk to somebody to get somebody in that building. So that way. I would know about it. And since you have access to, I would say loop, I don't know what it is in loop net. Loop mm -hmm. net, 
you might you might see, okay, I got these vacant buildings. They're gonna fit my criteria of liquor store, gas station, convenience store, maybe bar and grill, stuff like that. You might have an inside track to those markets and then you can utilize your real real estate knowledge to pursue those to get the inside track. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Because, uh, you know, when you become a real estate agent, the next level is to be a broker. Yeah. You become an associate broker. And then the state of Alabama, they make it so that you have to be, the only thing you do is real estate. And I think that is so crazy. How how can you, and I don't know any real estate agent who only do real estate. All of them do other ventures. And that's why I saw the beauty of this right here. It, huh? it, you're not being limited and big or small, however you scale it. Right. So. And there's no pressure. I mean, do it how slower or fast you want to do. So. Yeah, but you said one thing is you're looking where people are concentrated, which goes to where you're picking lumber location. Is getting the foot traffic, which is at a uh, at an event, you won't concentrate it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a lot of, of event, but not people concentrated in one area. That's what you're looking for. Right. And that, and now, and then if they leave, they can't uh, do it because we have this big thing called jazz in the park. It goes from May, no, actually goes from April until October. And then, but the problem with those events is you don't, you don't have to pay to get in. Yeah. You just come, put a chair down and you see it. And so I said, oh, that'd be a great event. And I said, no, no, that won't. Because people can leave and you just got your machine out there and there's really not much police out there. And so, what's, the, what's the buy? What are you buying? That's the only thing people buying is like food and drinks. They pay for that. Is it cash or the people who sell that take credit cards? A lot of them do. They prefer cash, but a lot of them use that little card, that little a big yes. swipe. A swipe, yeah. Uh, yeah. And to do it, you got to buy a business license for every, every time they go to a new park. If it's in a different part of the city, you got to have a license for that community. So it gets a little more expensive than what I would want to do with, with a with an ATM, but it is, there are group of people, it's just, they don't, they can leave any time. It's not a come and go. I mean, you, you go. So, and how long is the event on that? Four oh, hours? every event is about, usually four hours, starts at six in the evening, because it's so hot down here. So they started about in the evening, about six and run to about nine. And you may have a group of people, you may have a hundred to 200 people come in. Okay. But that'd be passing through. Right. Uh, what I mean by passing through, you have people driving by, some people sitting, actually get a chair out, sit in the park to listen to the music, but they're actually, they're not locked in. It's not like a, like you got to go through a gate to get in. You're just walking in a park. So that was my kind of concern. If I did do that event, would that be more of a wasted time? and then really a good venue. Because you have to set up next to where the food at, and that's because you want to where people, and I mentioned you, you want to where people come in and then alcoholic area, people bring their own alcohol. So there's not a alcohol dispenser there. So oh, you know, I, I, off the, off the, off the rip, I don't, I don't I, see I don't it. see it. Right. But I mean, I don't know the challenge, like, okay, so we do, we do a, like a little something like that. It's called a farmer's market. And okay. what we did is they do that event. It's uh, it's every other Sunday. They do it all year round. And in the summer months, they do it inside. In the winter months, they do it. Or in the summer months, they do it outside. In the winter months, they do it inside. When it gets basically cold. from like November 1st to probably about April, somewhere in there. Inclement, inclement whatever. Bad and weather. Climate weather. Yeah. So... They, the lady said, well, geez, can we bring, can we have an ATM every, you know, every uh, Sunday? And I said, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I said, you, I, I don't know how many transactions you're going to do. Probably 10, maybe 15. That's it. You're, it's only four hours and it's all cash, but it's only four hours. So we kind of went round and round. I said, what about I put the ATM in the building and then I don't have to go back and forth and I'll put it in and, and let's see what happens. And they said, because a, a tremendous one, they have a, a music festival and they shoot fireworks and it's unbelievable. We do a great business. Now they ask for the next step. And I didn't want to say no, but I didn't want to make a bad deal. So right. I said, what about we put it in the, in the house? They have like a big, a big area. I don't know what they call it. They call it, it's a mansion, but it was an old mansion that, and they converted it into this space. 
And she said, okay, let me see. And then they said, yes. So now we got, the, we got the mansion. I we go there and put money once, once a month. It's nothing big. They do 25 transactions. Sometimes they do a hundred, but most of the time it's 20, but in the summer months, like June, July, and August, they do real good. The rest of the time it's like 25. Um, but okay. the event we got, we do 2000 transactions and that this weekend it's coming up this weekend. So wow. I don't want to say no to that. <laughs> right. And I don't want nobody the, else one, in there. Right. But, the, yeah. the one weekend would pay for all those real slow months. Yeah. So okay. it's, it's fine. And that's what we and do. It's good, and you get good relations where you can yeah. develop other business out of. Right. But in my case, starting out, I don't need to start there. No, no. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I did, I'm doing it backwards. You're going to try to do it forward. Right. So my point to you is I don't think it would be, it would be beneficial but yeah. I would go check it out and see. I mean, you probably went to the event once or twice, but. You, oh yeah, I, I usually go every year. I mean, it, it happens all summer. Yeah. All, every year it happens. So it's not like it doesn't occur and you can always go to it. Just that when I looked at it and I kept looking at everything, there is security out there. There are cops out there for the most part, but I didn't see where th there's nothing to force them to buy. Yeah, right. You can right. bring your own food. You can bring your own right. drinks. So and I'm then you get yeah. and you get free music. Yeah. And then they'll walk around with a bucket asking for a donation, and that's it. I I figured maybe thirty people might, and I'm probably pushing it, would may do a transaction if they do. But I don't. That's nothing to force you. There are some vendors out there. It's like using three to four trucks, but even they don't stay all night for the concert. Right. So that, that, that was the reason why. And I'm just working everything out of my mind, trying to be from excitement to getting the number. And I'm the type of person, if you think something's not good, say it. Yeah, it I, I, don't think, I don't think, I don't, I really not. Personally, I don't, I mean, if it's me, I'm going there with my girl and we're, we're bringing a couple lawn chairs and bringing some food and maybe, you know, that's what I'm doing. And I, I maybe right. if she says, oh, the, look at that, the ice cream truck's here, maybe we get an ice cream. But for the most part, I'm probably not, you know, I'm going to bring my own food and something to drink and. Right. You know, because you don't want to pay the up fee. Right. Right. So now I got a machine that they're just probably just sitting there because you may have a few I people go there room. and put it there and come back at night. Right. No, I wouldn't leave. <laughs> right. Because right. they put the part. The, anyhow, I would stay there with my machine. I, I already know that. So and, and I like the idea about the money carrying the money on you the way you said it makes more sense so yeah all right you've answered tons of my questions and i'm gonna go back and rethink everything we said and uh pointed that you would recommend getting a synopsis or evaluate me as far as this business or whatever you may think to add i really would appreciate that if you had any comments on that um, the, i'm a big fan of i create or what somebody coined as a phrase, which I didn't know what it was, but this is what they told me, called mm -hmm. a maven. I'm a big fan of, I never looked it up in a dictionary or nothing, so I just taken the word for it. But I try to create power partners, mavens, people who will look look out for me to put in an ATM, say, hey, Phil, okay. this guy's changing hands or whatever. And I create those people. So okay. the, the way this business works for you is to create leads all the time. And whatever you can do to do that, the way people die in this business is they don't get new business. Right. And it's like real you, estate. Right. You have to get new business all the time. You have to have leads all the time. You have to talk to store owners all the time, whether you're doing that or you got created a network to do that. So okay. the, that's the best way to do it is to be successful. You have to create leads. And without okay. that, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't, it, it, you can do one, but you got to sustain just like real estate. You know the game in real estate. You got to get right. new business all the time. That's all I'm saying. Once you get your, and 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 once you get your network, then it's then you become the person that you can. Hey, I don't want that location. That's not for me. Or I'm gonna stay out of that neighborhood. Or I don't want to go there. Or that's too far. Then you control the deal. And so that's the best way to do it. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I will feast on everything you said. I appreciate everything. Thank you. All right. Pretty pumped. So. Hopefully you'll be hearing an order from me real soon. All right, so, I like it. Get this, get All that right, contract so. on done, and no contract, no machine. Yeah, that's well. That's my. <laughs> here's the, and I, I mean, get I mean, you probably heard in video. I want to make the deal, and I want to be done with the deal, and I don't want to renegotiate the deal ever. You know, yes. it would be 
it would be in real estate. So you got a buyer and they said, I want to buy the house. And they give you, let's say the, the price, the guy says 210,000. The buyer says, I'll give you, I'll give you 200. And the guy, the seller says, okay, great. They go to close room table and the guy says, eh, I don't know about that 200. I really want 240. Like, but you signed like, a contract. No, you but, signed a contract. But you, but you have a signed contract. They can't do that. But you go to the table with no contract. Who? Uh, right. The bank no. won't let you go to the contract. Right. The bank, so, that's a perfect example. Right. The bank will not even let you go to the contract because they're not going to give you 200000 without a contract. Right. So, yeah. uh, so I don't go to the closing table anymore without a contract. So that's it. <laughs> That's perfect. That is the best way to sell an ATM site agreement is uh, a closing contract because you you don't do nothing until there's a contract on the table. Mm -hmm. And at that time, everything starts. It's a live transaction. To the end, we don't have a contract until all parties agree. Right. So, all right. Thank you so all much right, for sir. your time. No uh, I really do appreciate it. I Thanks. pray God's blessing on you a hundredfold back to oh, you for your thanks. investment in thank me. You. So I thank you so much for this opportunity. All right.